What is going on guys? My name is Mehul and welcome to your fourth Android application development tutorial and in this tutorial we're gonna run our application before even coding. So as you can see on the right hand side of Android Studio uh, inside design as well you can see that our hello world is already there so you don't have to pretty much do anything in Android to write your first hello world program you just have to create a blank activity and that's pretty much it so if you don't see this thing or you know it's something like this then what you have to do is just click on this preview right here which is written in vertical just click on this and it would be like that and my theme is device default for now so it would just fall back to whatever device you're running and that's pretty cool and what you have to do in order to test your application is that you know this is sort of just a container when you just code you know complex applications like you have functionality like click and something then this probably just show you this would just show you a raw image of how your application looks but not the functionality so that is why we needed an emulator and uh, pretty much where this is where Ganymotion comes in play so if you have installed a you know virtual device with Android Studio then you would probably see it right here inside this Android virtual device manager we just go ahead and create a virtual device itself but if you have gone with Ganymotion that's then it's pretty good otherwise it's fine as well because Android Studio has a well equipped AVD manager as well which is Android virtual device manager so for Gany Motion users, what you have to do is just go to start and write Gany Motion, launch it, and it will just launch in a second. Just click on your device, click on start. So that's that is pretty much what you have to do on Gany Motion end. The rest of the stuff has to be done with Android Studio, and Android Studio would automatically detect that you are running an Android device. Gany motion so what you have to do in Android Studio is that you have to hit this play button which just says run app or it says press shift plus F10 to run app so you could do just shift or F10 or just click on this button so when I click on this button you can see that it shows me connected devices under connected devices it shows me unknown my phone so this unknown my phone is because it's not linked with Android virtual device manager the AVD one it's the Gany motion one but it still shows and it would still work so just select your Gany motion device and hit OK now wait for your application to build Gradle would just compile your Java code and just create an APK out of it then you could just probably see all of the status messages here only it's right now just building your application into an APK then it would install it on this phone because this is actually a simulated phone on your PC so you can see that it says installing APK so your APK would launch anytime now and uh, here we go so as you can see we had chosen the device default so for this device the default one is the blue for this one right there and then the text is gray then this is white the background one and pretty much this is our very first application which says us hello world and that is how you pretty much create an application with Android Studio without even starting coding so if you just go to menu you could see that your first application is installed just like any other application and uh, when you click on this you know this screen launches which is an activity well we'll just discuss about activities later on but that's a start so congratulations on coding your first application and uh, yeah, that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.